plumberparts.co.uk. Ask a plumber. Hold tight and welcome to today's Plumber Parts Ask the Plumber video. Five million views on YouTube. Absolutely, completely over the moon with that. Fantastic news, really, really pleased. Thanks ever so much for all your support, everyone. So yeah, five million views. I couldn't get any champagne. I actually prefer Prosecco anyway, I think it's nicer. So yeah, nailed a bottle of that last night with the missus. And then, had some dinner. Today's video, uh, we've got a little visit actually to Drayton Heat and Controls factory. Uh, we popped down to Plymouth uh, a couple of weeks ago, but the factory visit was an absolute eye opener. It was really, really interesting. And I was actually shocked at how much stuff Drayton actually make in house. That's one thing that really, really amazed me. The old nails versus, um, well, the nails trick that we've got going on here. There's our, that's the one of inhibitor in it. As you can see, it's kind of misty, but that is, that's, see, those nails are in perfect nick. That's still absolutely minging. So we're still doing that video there for our friends trade radiators. But anyway, before we carry on, let's firstly have a look at some of your questions that we've got this week. Number one, we have a question from Andrew Murphy. Dear Plumber Parts, I love your videos. You even help me out on such videos as how to change an outdoor tap and how to PTFE correctly. So thank you. But my question for you in this Ask the Plumber series is how do you get the name of Plumber Parts for your YouTube channel? Because I've always wanted to know. Well, Andrew, aside from being rather, rather nosy, I can actually now answer the question. It was purely a decision of what are people going to type in, and also, if I wanted to turn it into some sort of film noir porn, then plumber parts would also still be pretty relevant. So hopefully that's answered your question. Brighty came in, he said, yeah, how do I sort out C stopcocks? So the plural there, he's got more than one stopcock to unseize. I said, mate, that's a video right there, good lad. I'll answer this in this week's Ask the Plumber. Now basically mate, see stopcocks can, you can either tap them with a hammer, sometimes you'll find the gland nut is too tight, basically if you think that's the case, slacken that off and you won't be able to undo it. It's, it's one that we are gonna actually put, do a proper video on, okay, so, I mean, try and wind it either way, one way or the other, but the thing is, a lot of the time stopcocks, if you really force them too much, you're gonna completely destroy the valve itself. So it's difficult, but we'll do a video out on that. So just keep an eye, and obviously, you know, if you subscribe, if you follow us on Twitter or Facebook, you'll know when that sort of video comes out. I had a little chuckle at this. Bang! Gary Finley Peeney, our paranormal investigator. Mate, that is one way of doing Jager Bomb. Uh, absolutely love that. In fact, a lad that I play cricket with turned 18 a couple of weeks ago. He had a few Jager Bombs, but he didn't know that we'd also snuck some shots of vodka into him as well. Needless to say, he was being sick in vodka revolutions by nine o'clock at night. Then we've got Gary Filippini comes in again and just for some reason posted us a photo of a toilet that's on fire. Thanks, Gary. Dixon. <laughs> just love that name. Dixon. Hey, Plumber Parts. Love your vids. I'm a plumber in training. Would you say 10K is enough to start your own business, including the van? Dixon, let me tell you now, if I had 10K when I started being a plumber, man, that would have been amazing. I basically had nothing. I started out in an Audi 80, yeah, because I'd left the company, obviously had to give the van back and all that. Started out in an Audi 80, had all the tools in the back of that. It was an absolute nightmare. But built myself up, got myself a little Vauxhall combo, slid that off the road in the uh, in the freezing cold, uh, went to a hedge, but some girl came past actually, she said, are you all right? And I said, can I have a hug please? So, you know, every cloud is a silver lining. But definitely put aside like a grand at least for advertising okay so advertising all your local village or town magazines oh yeah adam wallace mate post a photo of a flux brush that's been well mate we've all been there i don't know when they're going to invent a brush that doesn't like fall apart i mean if you can have those those brush bristles with a plastic body uh, I know, you know, if you're careful, it's not going to melt it, is it? Right, oh, Robbie Williams. Is it you, really, Robbie? Are you loving angels instead? Ah, uh, when one flex, he just isn't enough. Look at that toilet. One, is that? So we've got an isolation valve, little bit of 15mm. Then we've got one, two, three flexi pipes going up. The thing that makes me grimace more than anything else in this photo is the fact that they haven't got, like, a receptacle for the bog brush. And also, I bet that bog brush started off white. <clears throat> oh yeah, and also, just sort of sharing you what I put up last Sunday on Twitter. Happy Sunday morning munch out at Goggle Gog Farm Shop, which is like, look at that, mate, those Scotch eggs are absolutely banging. And that is like fresh farm shop food, all nice and hot. Been out the night before, 
that was a perfect way to save myself on a Sunday. I think when it comes to our best picture this week, oh Gary man, I'd love to be giving you uh, definitely for that absolutely awful moment in, in a day of a plumber. Basically it's going, Adam Wallace 87, you're going to get stickers. So we'll get hold of you on Twitter and sort that all out. But we're thinking about starting to do some t-shirts. So if you guys have got any ideas what would be a good t-shirt, like a slogan, something silly, something serious, something whatever. If it's anything to do with plumbing or the trade or whatever like that, then let us know, okay? Let us know what slogan you've got. If we choose to make a t-shirt out of your slogan, then we'll happily send you out the free one that is yours, okay? And if more than one of you come up with the same slogan, then it will go to the person who first came up with it. Uh, so so now we're going to go off to Drayton and you're going to have a quick look at their factory tour. I hope you enjoy it. See you soon. Hi! 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 welcome to this week's Plum Pass of Cody UK video. We're at Drayton's factory at the moment. If you look around, look, we're in a factory. Oh, God. Now look back here. You might recognise these beasts here. This is the three port bar that you've been fitting for years and years and years. And this is actually where they're made. Oh, these lovely people here who aren't listening. Look at them, they're so into their work, they can't even hear me. Val. Wow. Val. Wow. Now, what are you making here? What are you doing? Building a body for the motorized bolt. So, building a body for the motorized bolt. Show us how you do that very quickly. It'll be really interesting to see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's too quick. Get a body. Get a body. Grease the paddle. Put the paddle in. Put a seat clip on. Get my next one ready. Put the plan that on. That's pretty cool. So how much do you guys all enjoy your job? It does look like you have loads of fun. Do you have the football on? Do you have a big scream with the football on or anything like that? Why not? Oh dear. So is that the old Synchron motors going in? See, so they're easily replaced. We all know how to do that, don't we, in the world of plumbing? And then right at the end of it all, there's one. And do you, are you testing that now, are you? Uh, shortly, it'll be going in the eye top, yeah. So it goes in here to be tested? Yeah. And, and laser X. Laser X as well? Yes. How do you mean? So it goes in like, it goes in like that, it's going in. Wait for the green light. Green light. And there's the laser X. Oh, that's done that, has it? That's really good. And then onto the test. Have you ever put anything in there and had an X that shouldn't have been? Like a present or anything like that? No. <laughs> really? Oh, definitely. So that's the motorised valve making bit. I'm sure you've seen plenty of them going about. Uh, they also kindly showed us around their TRV making bit as well. You know, that. You, you. Okay. Everyone's seen these. So where did that work go? So is this what there? This one is for TRV, this is for the RT. Okay, yeah, yeah. So that those bits down Yeah, those in the both good. And after everything is done, it's automatic. And it's using the, the laser print. Can I get laser etched in there as well? Yes. Yes, the, the laser is inside of uh, the cycle. Okay. And through the concrete to the port, the top that goes through the assembly line. You can follow the life of the TRV here. It's coming along here. So here it is. And it comes to you. Hello, what's your Hello, name? Pam. Hello, Pam. What are you doing here today? Um, looking at one of these, inspecting it. I'm ready to go away to be bought by plumbers like me, yeah. basically. <laughs> so look, you see all these beasts. Look at those, the old Drayton TRV4 boxes everywhere. Look, you recognise that? That's what's on the side. I've seen loads of those in my life. You've got the old wax uh, inserted stuff, the, uh, you know, the expansion heat sensor on there. Different bits and pieces, and then of course that little chrome lid that they put on top that you twist around. We've got more here, the old, these are the chrome type ones here. All made in the UK. There, yeah, got the packaging here. Everything like that. But as is majorly important when you're working in a factory environment like this, you need to make sure that Henry is locked away safely out of harm's way. So after that they showed us their laser etching bit which I thought was quality. Right, it's so a laser etching of a... Uh, what is it? It's your standard controller, isn't it? What's your name by the way? Linda. Alright, Linda. Right, ready? 
There it is. Look at that. Yeah. Done. Done. It's amazing. Yeah. Right, Linda, firstly, cats or dogs? What's your favourite? Cats. Cats? Yeah. All right. Cat, well, cats or dogs, dogs, ladies? Cats or dogs? Cats. Cats. Oh. Cats or dogs? Yeah. What's your what do you prefer? Dogs. Dogs. Oh, it's a, it's a toss up at the end there. <laughs> What's the lady's name at the end? Mary. Mary? <laughs> Mary. 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 She's got her earphones in. Well, I'm here with Jim here. What a, what a name. What a great name. Jim, explain what's going to happen here. And we'd love to know the lady's name. Kathy's here. Kathy, Lorna. Lorna. Um, Pam. Pam. And Julie. And Julie. We're making TRB four heads here today. So how, what is the process basically? Where are we starting? How does it all work? How do these people work together as a team to come up with the plumbers that buy these things? If we, if we come around the back here, you can see Operation 1. So you're putting in the actual sort of temperature sensor there onto the chrome head? Yeah. So that's Kathy's bit. Kathy, very quickly and importantly, if you were to choose between the two, would you choose cats or dogs? Dogs. Dogs, okay. Yeah. All right. Lorna. We're next on the line. What was it you were doing here? Um, I take the control, I check that the tape's on the road mark, and assemble it in there, put the pins in. So how does that, how does that wrap that around there? So look, look at that. Look at that, that is getting its... That's getting its uh, temperature sensor wrapped on there, so you know what settings at. Lorna, if you were to choose between the two, would you choose cats or dogs? Dogs. Dogs. So, so far, TRVs are dog related people, whereas over there on the time controller people, they're mainly cats. Don't know what to make of that. Right, so the moment dogs are winning 2 0, alright, so this is important, okay? So you are, you were doing actually similar to what you were doing over there, yeah. taking up. So you guys do this, this must, you often work together quite a lot, don't you? Yeah. What do you usually talk about when you're at work? What's the, what's the daily cats. thing? You talk about cats, do you? Yeah. <laughs> have you a cat? Have you got a cat? What's your cat's name? Inca. Oh, I was going to say, I thought they were going to say George for a minute. No, <laughs> they said George. So you guys are basically packing up everything, making sure they're all work and it's all going to go in all right then, yeah? yeah? Okay, and your cat as well then? So you yeah, cut the dog. I, so I like all animals, and I like dogs better. But if you had to save the life of one or the other... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> right, everyone, one, two, three. Oh, it's tight. Oh, it's tight. <laughs> oh, it's tight. Brilliant. Look at that guy's there now. Do you want to press the button as well? No. Yeah. No, pre press the button. Right, here we go. So they're in there now, getting, getting ready to be etched. I'm going to press this button here. There we go. That is incredible. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed our little visit to Drayton. I hope you've enjoyed this week's Ask the Plumber. Uh, our next video is going to be a fully instructional video, but as you may have just noticed, we've started uploading uh, the odd video of us actually out at work using a mobile phone, okay? Uh, oh, my nose is so bunged up, I don't know why. But basically it means that we can show you the sort of stuff we actually do when we're not doing videos, when we're actually out there doing plumbing. Sometimes it can be a nightmare. The latest video we did was about a plinth heater. Prizes for the people who can guess whether they've seen that toilet before and which video it was in. Because there is a toilet in the video. All right, nothing to do with plinth heaters, even though I'm all up for sitting on the loo and having my feet nice and warm. There we go. Anyway, I hope you loved today's video. I hope you subscribe. I hope you share. I hope you follow us on Twitter and Facebook. And above all, I hope you come back next week. Remember everyone, hold tight. Plumberparts.co.uk. Ask a plumber.